All right, welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, you know, a lot happened over the weekend, uh, part of which, politically speaking now, <laughs> part of which was the debate that went on, and then you, you heard the response, how uh, two of the invited political parties didn't make it to the debate. Uh, they gave different reasons, the APC and the PDP. But we'll start off with the PDP. We're hoping that the APC uh, person can join us uh, before the show ends. You know, we'll have time allotted for all of this. But at the moment, we do have a caller, Ologbone, who is the uh, National Publicity Secretary of the APC. He also, uh, I beg your pardon, of the PDP. My apologies. Uh, <laughs> he's also uh, the spokesperson of uh, Atiku as the Presidential Campaign Council of the PDP. Uh, good morning, caller, and thank you for joining us. Look, much as people may have read uh, and listened to the PDP candidates give his reasons, but the thing is, many of them just didn't buy that idea. They felt that, uh, you know, the electorate deserved that they, they have a right to ask questions of people who are coming to seek for their votes. So, to that extent, you still think that that reason that your candidates gave is tenable? Yeah, the, uh, good morning, Chamberlain, and good morning, Nigerians. We believe that the um, explanation given by the people's candidate, His Excellency Alaji Atiku Abubakar, is very tenable. It's tenable because for us in the People's Democratic Party and the campaign organization, Alaji Atiku Abubakar cut short his trip from the United States just for the purposes of attending and participating in the debate. Unfortunately, when he arrived at the venue, he waited in expectation that President Muhammad Buhari would feature in the debate. But as at the time, the candidates were invited to begin the debate. President Muhammad Buhari had cleverly dodged the session. And if President Buhari, who is an incumbent candidate, was not present at the debate, who are we going to debate? And as a matter of fact, we believe in the PDP that President Muhammad Buhari ought to have been available to give account of how he has spent the trust Nigeria has put in him in the last three and a half years. And to also come and tell Nigerians why he believes he deserves a second term. And on account of that, the People's Democratic candidate, the People's candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, will have had the opportunity of engaging with Mr. President. So on account of that, we believe that our candidate's position was tenable. We also believe that his apology to Nigerians on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari had been accepted by majority of Nigerians. Did you conduct a poll on that call? Because politicians have a way of giving people the impression that all is well. How did you come to that conclusion? Conclusion on the, on the, on on the that, fact that, that the or, or it has been accepted, accepted by Nigerians? Yes, we, we believe. We have conducted it. We conducted our own internal poll. And we have seen that Nigerians have accepted his apology. Let me take you up on um, something, Mr. Olobodi. Okay. Um, first of all, I'll go to the dictionary. I love that word. Um, it says, uh, what's a debate? A debate is an argument about a particular subject, especially one in which many people are involved. So um, the opinion of um, His Excellency, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, was that he wanted to debate with just one individual as opposed to a number of other people. There were three other people at that debate yesterday um, uh, when it held. And, but, and he got to the venue and he went back. It didn't spare him slacks from the, con the other contenders at that, um, at that event. I, I, does it mean that without um, the, the incumbent president, he, he would have nothing to say? No, that would not be correct. But I need to also bring to your attention before I respond to you. 
Perhaps you were not aware, like President Muhammad Buhari, that the chairman of the Presidential Advisory Council or Committee on Anti-Corruption, Professor Issa Sage, did say that all those who, are, are, who were out to debate with President Buhari are political dwarfs. Up to this moment that we are engaging on Sunrise Daily, the organizers of that debate did not say anything to encourage those that had been invited. For us in the People's Democratic Party, and for the Atiku campaign, and for the People's Democratic Campaign Council, we know that the people's candidate, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, is a political giant compared to President Muhammad Buhari. And if in the eyes and in the conscience of the organizers of the show, Professor Issa Sage, with due respect, was allowed to get away with such a comment, participation, sorry, something has been taken away from the value and the character. Having said that, we agree with you that a debate, like you put it, is an argument in which not just one person is involved. But we're not invited, our candidates and the people's candidate was not invited to function in a school's literary and debating competition. He was invited to come and discuss how we will move Nigeria forward. However, the current occupant, and I speak about the incumbent, President Muhammad Buhari, should have led that debate. It is his responsibility, it falls within his purview to come and tell Nigerians that the trust will repose in me in the last three and a half years. This is the way I had spent it. And this is why I'm asking for another term. But where he chose to let me just come in here. Why are you holding our, can our own candidate responsible for not turning up? Mr. Lopadio, if, you, if I could just come, on, come in here, uh, you have said a lot of things, but it is believed widely that your candidate, the PDP presidential candidate, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, was at the venue of that debate. Shouldn't he have respected the rights of the Nigerian people, wanting to hear from him especially at such dicey times and political turmoil about what he has in stock for the Nigerian people and it should be about the Nigerian people, not necessarily about the president? Thank you, Gimba. It might interest you to know that the people's candidate has been going around Nigerians Nigerians, individually and collectively, and making available to them how to get Nigeria working again. On account of this, we believe largely that the interfaces that, uh, that the People's Candidate had held, whether in Lagos, whether in, whether in, whether in, 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 uh, in, in Joss, everywhere we have been to, whether in Akure, whether in Oshobo, whether in Adoikiti, whether in Lokoja, whether in Mina, we are inter our candidate is interacting with Nigerians. However, it is a surprise, Gimba, that you have, you have not found anything strange in the comment of Professor Issa Sage, who claimed and declared openly in public statements that those who will participate in that debate are political dwarfs. And I insist that the organizers of the show, even as we speak now, have said nothing about that assertion. Professor Issa Sage's position in our polity, I believe, is respected by, by many Nigerians. And on account of that, his, 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 his own worldview about that debate ought to be contended by, ought to be, to, to, ought to be confronted also 
by the organizers of the show, who will have made it clear to all the, all the participants that this is again acted on its own. But this never happened. However, having said that, our candidate was even still prepared to participate yeah. in that process. Let me get your thoughts on this. And Would like it have said, made any difference yeah. if al Haji Atiku Abubakar since being there at the venue, would it have made any difference today? Would he have been saying something differently if he be part of uh, the other three con uh, c candidates that were there? Jimba, I didn't get that. I said that would it have been a different discussion completely if Atiku Abubakar just made himself available on that podium to have a discussion and a debate with the other three candidates? As a, as a political dwarf, or as who? Essentially, you're saying that... You should have um, appeared as a political dwarf, Gimba, when that's the position and the opinion held by the villa, when that's the position and the opinion held by Mr. President. Does that mean you accept the opinion? Is that your advice? Are you accepting it? Are you accept, accepting it, 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 that it's a dwarf? Who the debate? No, because um, if, if the organizers, if the organizers